Atrial fibrillation is a very common condition. Um, it's about five to six million Americans have that condition, and it, it tends to become more and more prevalent as you get older. Um, it has also a lot to do with your with the size of your uh, of the atrium inside the heart. Um, there are some data to suggest that um, athletes who do endurance training or distance running, for example, marathon training, um, those athletes can actually have a more enlarged uh, atrium compared. Uh, uh, to a regular person. Atrium is the top part of the heart. That's where the uh, atrial fibrillation comes from. So the, um, the risk of atrial fibrillation actually may be uh, somewhat uh, increased in that population. But in general, atrial fibrillation is a multifactorial uh, disease. In other words, there are many things that can contribute or cause atrial fibrillation. So it, it can be um, difficult uh, to completely uh, prevent it from happening. But, uh, but th there are certain things we can do to reduce that chance. Um, certain things like uh, uh, weight loss, um, treating uh, risk factors such as uh, high blood pressure or diabetes. Um, and uh, if you have undiagnosed un uh, conditions such as uh, sleep apnea, and you treat that, that should help uh, the atrial fibrillation as well. Overall, it's, it's, it's very rare because um, we are talking about a very young population and atrial fibrillation is really an age-related uh, uh, condition. Uh, it tends to happen a lot more often in people who are older. Um, so in the younger population, it's, it's actually very rare to see that. Although uh, atrial fibrillation also has a genetic component. So sometimes we do see atrial fibrillation in the younger population, but it's much, much more rare compared uh, to the uh, older population. I think pattern recognition is important. Um, if, um, if you're just going through your routine training and then all of a sudden you notice that there's a change in the beating pattern uh, in your heart, uh, if you feel your heart is beating irregularly or if you feel um, abnormal palpitations or racing sensation that comes from inside the chest that is disproportionate to the degree of um, exercise you are doing, and especially if that's associated uh, with other symptoms like um, excessive uh, shortness of breath, and dizziness, chest discomfort, um, and those, those are warning signs or, or, or symptoms that, um, that would suggest that you should seek uh, medical attention. To learn more, please uh, click on one of the links on the screen or the description below.